going, oh geez, it's knocking like everything off my desk. No, 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 not my new charger. All right, you can sit safely there. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm in the little wood, also known as Martin, and welcome back. Oh, God, I'm going to regret doing this. Welcome back to in the little box. <laughs> I'm not going to do it anymore. Everything is going to fall everywhere. It's been a while, hasn't it? Sorry about that. Basically, when I introduced the new schedule and I brought back in the little box, it was around the time when I was moving house and buying a house and selling an apartment and stuff. Uh, and for the last couple of weeks, it's been either lots of escapists or I've finally got somewhat back into a normal schedule of having two videos a day but this week is when I've started again with the Haveganders, with the PO boxes, with Little and Cubed, all that sort of stuff is back and I'm ready for this. So all of this stuff here I'm going to open in a moment but there is one box in particular that I'm very very excited to open this week because I've already seen this on Tumblr uh, and via Twitter and stuff like that so if you have a little look on this side of it it says Martin in huge cool graffiti letters and uh, this is from somebody called MattStar102 on Twitter. Um, so I'm just going to quickly bring this up. Oh, there's like a, like a proper flash card as well. Or is that just protection? Oh, I thought this was glued to it. Never mind. Anyway, uh, it says, Dear in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, here is my latest project and it's all yours. This is a custom PlayStation 2 with a controller and a custom covered copy of Final Fantasy X that you will find out when you uh, peel back the first layer of paper. Thank you ever so much for putting me inside of Alcatraz on your Escapist series. Not a problem. Watching your series reminds me of how I plan to escape out of working at Subway someday. Oh, that's not a bad job. I mean, look at Syndicate, okay? Syndicate was working at McDonald's, and now he has a million pound house. It can literally happen to anybody, as long as they're determined, uh, they're, they stay humble, and they're talented. You can literally do anything. And from the stuff that I've seen you make, I know you have artistic talent, without a doubt. Thank you for all your hard work and amazing videos. They keep me and all of your subscribers' spirits up. Uh, and that's with love from Matt Smith. And that his Twitter, if you want to go and follow him, and tell him how much of an awesome job this is uh, is uh, MattStar102 so that's M-A-T, only one T uh, and then it's S-T-A-R 102 uh, and it says P.S. the sapling logos are 24 what? The sapling logos are 24 karat gold leaf. What does that mean? I mean, obviously, I know it's like a measurement of the stuff. Um, and this says, a just in case. I don't know what that is. Oh, wait, no, maybe I do. No, I do know what that is. I know that size and shape anywhere. This is actually a, uh, <laughs> a really old PlayStation 2 memory card. I definitely, definitely needed one of those. There you go. Do you like this new camera, by the way? This is the first time I filmed the PO box with it. So whenever I'm talking now, you won't hear the noise. But if I stop talking and hold this up to it you probably all just heard like a clicky noise just then so if you do hear that clicky noise don't worry it's just the auto focus on the camera um and it's not really anything that i can combat but it should be fine um and then we've got some oh yeah the business cards as well so we've got some business cards from sir matt smith which is awesome so let's get in to the main attraction i'm so excited to see this you have no idea oh my god yes 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 oh my god you even included the cables oh god yeah look at this he's got like the power cable and it's british as well which is fantastic and he's also got this thing as well i mean when was the last time anybody used the scarf that's crazy i think i actually did away with the scarf because i just used to use uh the red white and yellow to run into the back of like an elgato and uh, no not even elgato it was a hopage god yeah my old hopage capture card i think there is actually a couple still left in the office i think i've got one in a box somewhere and i know hat films have been using them for the old-fashioned bashings um is it called that yeah i think it's called that but anyway uh first things first this thing here is fantastic so you know the final fantasy 10 cover don't you i'm trying to see if i've got one over here no i don't okay but if you recognize the cover he's actually done a custom one for me and it's absolutely brilliant so obviously it says in the little wood x um instead of square enix across the bottom it says yogs cast um and it's just so cool it's really really cool so i think you said that the copy of the game was in here because i'm totally gonna play this by the way uh let's have a little nosy inside oh my god it is yeah oh and it's even got beyond final fantasy inside of there as well it's got both bits this is so cool. Thank you so much. I mean, I don't know how you... I mean, I guess you could have just downloaded the back of the thing. Because this isn't two separate pieces of paper. This is one all the way around, like an actual case would be. So you've actually gone to the lengths of throwing this into Photoshop with the other stuff. Um, and it's so cool. Right, so there we go. So that's the game. It was actually, like, uh, blue tacked into there as well to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. So the next thing we've got is the controller. So as well as actually doing the console up uh, with my logo and, like, the paint splat background that I had made uh, by... Sir Vetter and Harry here at the office. Um, you've 
even spray painted the controller. Oh my god, it looks so cool! Look at this bad boy. And it's got that fresh paint smell as well. Check this out. How is that not the coolest thing I've ever received? Like, this is up there with the Nino Cooney, like, like shoes and like the Familiogs thing and basically anything that I've had that's Nino Cooney, this is on par with it. Um, but check this out. Look at that. It's amazing. So we've got that. It's got a big old golden sapling swirl in the middle of it as well. And then we get on to the big bad Mama Jamma. Oh, that's quite nice. That's like very similar to the type of soundproofing some people use at home. It's like kind of like little eggshell type stuff. Um, oh my god, yes. And here it is, everybody. I'm so excited to show you this. So this is a legit PlayStation 2. Um, as far as I'm aware, it still works, but look at that. That is just crazy, crazy good. And it is painted literally every side, every orifice, other than like the power and the fan, uh, which obviously wouldn't be the best to paint. Everything else has been painted up. And like the logo is ever so slightly embossed. You can't even see it from that angle, it's so tiny, but it does come off just ever so slightly. But, and if you notice as well, actually on the CD tray, there is a tiny, tiny, tiny sapling logo. You see that there? It's so cool. So there we go. I'm actually gonna try and plug this in when I, uh, when I live stream the game at some point, because I know that it's coming out finally on the PlayStation 4 in HD. Um, so I can just literally put this on a shelf, because I've bought like the collector's edition of that. So I can finally have like a proper Final Fantasy X PS2 shelf, and this is totally gonna live on there. So there we go. Thank you very much, Matt. Um, I appreciate that so much. It's amazing. I did actually, notice that when I moved uh, from my old apartment to the new house that I don't actually have a PlayStation 2. I have my PlayStation 1, I have a PS3, I have a GameCube and all that sort of stuff and that was the only gap in my retro console gap from when I was a child up until now of all the old ones I owned. Um, so there you go, that's awesome. Oh, Alright then, let's do uh, some letters. We've opened a one big old box. I do actually still have two other boxes to open uh, so I'll make sure that I do that in a moment but I want to open uh, something Christmassy because why not? There's a little Christmas little thing just here. I'll do a letter straight after this one, but it looks like there is a... is that a link? Oh, it is! Oh my god, this is so cool! So this is actually from the Phantom Hourglass. So somebody sent me this and he's got an adorable little shield on the back. Oh, this is amazing! Was there a letter in there? I feel like this must have come partly with a letter and I've gotten them split up somehow when they've arrived in the PR box. Oh no, oh no. Well, if this was you that sent it, just now I'm very appreciative of it and that is going to go on the shelf as well uh, with my personal looking Link character as well as this one because it is about time that I divided my Nintendo shelves. I say that every goddamn episode, but it will happen. It bloody will. I'll do it on the vlogging in the little dream. It'll be amazing. But anyway, uh, let's do some letters then. So I'm going to go for uh, this one right here, I think. There's a lot of sapling swells on the front of it and whatnot, which is good. I'm going to open up this bad boy and have a little look. So if you would like to send anything to the show, by the way, um, I haven't told you about that yet. Um, you can actually go to the description or you can go to the Yogscast website. And it's literally just the Yogscast PO box. And if you put my name on it, if you just put Martin Littlewood in the Littlewood uh, for attention of Martin, anything like that, just so I know it's for me, or like this person, just cover it in sapling swirls. If you literally put the, the Yogscast PO box address and the swirls, it will still make its way to me I imagine oh no why are you dying on me get off all right let's open up this letter then and find out who it is from and I think there's actually a separate sheet of fan art here as well uh, but anyway it says dear Martin also known as in the letterwood my name is Kim and I've been watching your videos for four years now holy moly Kim thank you so much for watching for that long uh, and you love the videos I hope you and Kai are getting along all right with the kitties I left a gift slash fan art for you uh, for you both and I hope you like them uh, can you do more Minecraft or also, you should do a Feed the Beast. Loads of love, and that was from Kim. Uh, it's funny you mentioned Minecraft, actually. Just before I started filming this today, um, there was actually an update posted on the Minecraft subreddit about the PC version, and we're finally in the combat update, as it's being called, coming up next. We're finally getting uh, a shield, uh, like a shield slot. I don't know what the shields themselves look like. And then we've already seen what the arrows look like, because there are different kinds of arrows, and also what the quiver looks like as well. And I think the quiver is something we were shown a long time ago, but it just never came to light but now it's actually going to be a thing so if it is what we suspect it's going to be like where there are going to be different kinds of 
arrows. Some of them will specifically be like, set this person on fire, all this sort of stuff. But then there'll be ones that can add like blindness and all this other sort of stuff into the vanilla game. I think that would be great. And that means it's going to be so easy for server owners to basically just do like, you know, Hunger Games, but have like, you know, debuffs that you can apply to people. Can you imagine just being like in the tree line and just like shooting an arrow and pinging someone and they go blind for a second and then you just run down from the tree line. They can't see a goddamn thing. And then you just start like hacking and slashing at them and they have no idea which direction you're coming from. It gets me excited about Minecraft again. So you might see some stuff on that when that releases, but um, it's the first time in a very, very long time that I've been excited about that game. Uh, and <laughs> I like this fan art as well. It's got a very, um, who is it? I was going to say... Penny Arcade, but I think it's something else that I may be mistaken the art style with. But check that out. So it's myself and Toby doing our thing. Toby's away for the way. Uh, and hopefully, actually, speaking of that, um, Toby is actually going to be back on the live streams with me next week. Or well, I say next week. Would have been yesterday, as you see this, because um, I'm now streaming on Mondays and Wednesdays, and I'm also uh, bringing back the big Friday live stream as well, which is cool. Um, let's open up this one, because it's sent all the way back in Christmas, all the way from Philadelphia. It's got a nice little uh, stamp in the corner, like a little wreath just there. So I'm going to open this bad boy up. A lot of the, the mail in here is going to be from very, very different times uh, of the year. I think I've opened stuff sometimes that's been like more than a year old. Um, it's pretty bad on my part, but there's only so many so many pieces of mail I can open per episode. But anyway, let's open this bad boy up. So this is apparently page one, uh, and I'll quickly show you the fan art first as well. So it's uh, a big in the little one, and I think that's. A co oh, no, it is. Yeah, it's a contraband pouch filled with different tools that I would use to get out of the escapist. It's pretty down corner. I don't know what that drink in the corner is. Oh, it's OD. It's uh, Overdrive or Overcharge from uh, Sunset Overdrive. We've got a sapling swirl and I'm gonna... I can't tell if that's a rupee in the corner or if that is a... Uh, if it's a lapis block. I'd like to think it's a lapis block. It's got that kind of shape about it. So we've got that piece. I'm just gonna put that to one side. Uh, oh, that's quite cool actually. Whenever people like design sapling swords for me, the, the handles, like the hilt, is usually very viney looking. Uh, but this looks way more practical, but it still has the badassness of what an In The Little Blade would look like. Check that out. And the shading actually on that is really, really good. So congrats to you on that. Uh, so let's read the letter then. So it says, Dear In The Little Wood, also known as Martin. I've been watching your videos for some time now and all of the other Yogscast members as well. All I can say is thank you for your hilarious videos from games on the PS3 like Nino Kuni to games on the PC like The Escapists. Ever since your videos, uh, I've been inspired to start my own YouTube channel. Please don't say the name out loud. Okay, I won't. I'm not asking you to subscribe or anything. I'm just asking you to check it out. I shall do, sir. Um, and then it says, you're the first person I've ever, I've ever sent fan mail to. So I apologise if it looks rather crude. Don't worry. Honestly, people always worry about their handwriting. I say this every week. My handwriting is terrible. That's why I refuse to write, given any chance possible. Like, you know, if I've got a pen, like a, a pad and uh, a pen next to me and someone goes, oh, just note this down. I won't touch that. I will get my phone out. I know it'll take a while to unlock and load up the memos app or something like that, but I can't bear it because even I can't read it later on. It makes no sense to me. So, yeah, mine's just as bad. Don't worry. Uh, but if I can read yours it's totally fine and then it just says so in recap thank you for helping me when i needed a funny video to calm me down lighten the mood and even keep me sane thank you very much uh p.s included is an envelope uh, with some small fan art collages and a bunch of miscellaneous gaming items oh maybe that's where the maybe that's where this came from oh you know what maybe it was Okay, I won't definitely say it was you because the person who sent it might get upset, but if this was you, then that makes more sense now with the letter. That was very lucky because, I mean, this box is just random letters and mail. <laughs> right, on the back of this paper is a list of items on it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I see. Right, okay, so it does say it was a bottle of overdrive and it was a lapis lazuli block. There we go. The rumours were true. We got it confirmed. I think we should open at least one more letter before another package. I like this one. This looks cool. Uh, sapling love for the sapling god. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Right, let's open this bad boy up then. So I'm going to guess this came from within the UK because it's got old Lizzie's noggin on it, hasn't it? So <laughs> there you go. Speaking of the Queen and the royal family and stuff, by the way, when I was I was just watching TV the other day and then all of a sudden it was like, breaking news, put on Sky News now, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh God, like, is this our equivalent of like in America, like you can basically basically set mobile phones to ping and tell you to put on a news station when there's like a big disaster or if like a child is missing it's like the first 24 hours or something and think everything goes on a high alert like as if like a bomb's dropped or something like that I change your channel it's like 
she's had a baby. And I was like, wait, who's had a baby? She's like, oh, you know, the one who had a royal baby last year. I'm like, oh, right, so it's just, it's just baby news, it's fine. But everyone was, like, losing their minds about it. <laughs> but anyway, um, enough of my rambling. There is some badass escapist fan art. Booyah. I was always a little bit gutted, actually. It was really cool that the, uh, that the developers of the escapist, Team 17, uh, that they actually drew me as an escapist character, but I was really gutted that they didn't do a head-on one for me. My character that they did was side-on, and I was like, oh, if it was head-on, I could have used it in the thumbnails. But this was the one that we stuck with for, what was it, like, nearly 70 episodes. It was crazy. Uh, and it even actually on the front of it has the exact number of my uh, inmate number. You know the one that's on the Yogsy Penitentiary t-shirt on the store? Um, it actually has the same number on it, which is a really nice little attention to detail. So, oh, you've covered your address up. Oh, no, actually, it's in a separate little binder. That's quite cool. Okay. Uh, so it says, Dear in the Littlewood, also known as Martin. Hi, my name is... Oh, my God. Um, it's spelled Z-S-A-N-E-T-T. -E and it says, in English, it's pronounced Janet. <laughs> Like, I kid you not, it literally says it's pronounced Janet. So there you go, so Zanet, Janet. Oh, I see, okay, so I think I don't pronounce the J like that, but I think you're just saying the way it sounds. Sorry, that really confused me for a second there. Uh, so yeah, so hi, my name is Zanet, there you go. It says, I don't really know what to start off with uh, because I don't write letters that often. Anyway, the first video I watched of yours, and she spelt first F-H-U-R-S-T, it's clever. Um, I watched of yours was Kingdom of the Saplings, and that uh, is what got me into your channel. I still watch some of those videos from back in the day. Uh, my favourite series at the moment is The Escapist. You got me into buying and actually playing the game. <laughs> Come on, you bugger! Come on, there you go. I am strong like Hulk. I still need to go see Age of Ultron, actually. I've totally forgotten about that. Holy moly, there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, wow. Oh my god, there's like an entire, like, binder folder type thing. Oh man, this is crazy. I've never seen someone send so much stuff before. This just throws me back to, I've spoke about this on the PR box before, about when I used to draw Sonic characters. And I used to put them in like, you know, sleeves like this, exactly the same. Um, so I'm literally just going to fly through these. I think there's some art for kind of everybody. So we've got a, a Kieran on, oh god, I can't hold it up properly. <laughs> hold on a second. So we've got a Kieran on that side, oh god, it's gone. And there is a Nina Serena on that side. Uh, we've got a creeper face just there. And and then we have, again, very similar to before. Is this a fan art that people have found on Google and they're kind of like recreating kind of physically rather than looking at the digital version? But we saw that one at the start of the episode as well, didn't we? So we got that piece just there. Oh, this is my selfie. A lot of people like drawing this one, actually, as opposed to like my actual Twitter avatar. But there you go. There's that image just there. Some of these people aren't even in the Oxcast anymore. <laughs> That's how many are in here. Like, this is literally like the past, like, 20 years in one. Oh, I like this one. This one looks very good. Check this out. This is uh, Simon with his Viking helmet on, looking very much the dwarven part. Oh, wait, hold on. I see. I think this is one of those ones where, like, they've kind of sent it to everybody, but then they've sent it to my PO box just to make sure that everyone actually sees it. Uh, we've got an ITLD one, which is for me and Kai. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. So this one actually is addressed to me as well. So it says, Dear Kai and Martin, uh, my name is Mal... Mallory, I think that's how it's said. Uh, you're 12 years old and you're a girl from Colchester, Essex. I've been a subscriber to In The Little Dream since day one. Uh, you guys are the cutest couple on the earth. Uh, congratulations on the new house and almost reaching 100,000 subs on that channel. Yeah, if you haven't already, by the way, with this brand new camera of mine um, and with a lot of conventions coming up, so I'm going to Comic-Con just to let people know. I'm going to Comic-Con in May. If you want to see me, I'm going to be there for Friday and Saturday. Uh, and I think there's a Q&A at some point as well, so... Around the sign-ins and me generally walking around the show floor, that's a thing. Could I request that people don't take pictures of me eating? It's not that I'm weird about me eating, it's just that it's just not the time or the place. <laughs> like, if I'm walking over to the bin to put my remains in there, feel free to take a picture. But when I'm like this, and then like you take a photo, it's just a bit weird. I know that's going to be screen capped and all over Tumblr. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I sent Martin some drawings that I hoped he showed you, uh, and I hope you like them. Yeah, I'll make sure Kai sees the rest of those. And there's letters inside of here as well for everybody else in the Yogg's cast. Thank you very much for all of your videos and work, and that comes from Mallory. Well, there we go, Mallory. You made it onto the show, and thank you for all of the cool stuff this week. Um, if you do want to send anything to this show, like I said earlier on in the video, there is information in the description. It's a very simple PO Box address. You can mail to us from anywhere on 
around the planet and feel free to do so. Uh, one thing just for international people, make sure that you cover the postage because that's not typically something that we pay for because if we had to pay for every package that was kind of like misquoted or wasn't paid for, I'd probably be spending more money on that than actually like feeding myself. <laughs> so it's just one of those things. It doesn't happen very often but just on the off chance it does, just so you know. And other than that, I hope you all have an awesome weekend. Keep an eye out for Little and Cubed. Fingers crossed I film that tomorrow with Dan which will go out tomorrow uh, and I will see you all next week. Bye-bye!